Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. UFC 105. It's going to happen this Saturday, live on Spike. So, free card, which is fantastic. It's a free card, man. You can't go wrong there. So, it's going to be nice. Um, for the UFC 105 pre fight, I'm going to start out with James Wilkes versus Matt Brown. Okay, James Wilkes looked really good in the. Was it Tough Nine or Tough Eight that he was in? I, I, I don't know because whichever one it was, it doesn't matter. Um, but he looked good. He looked real good. He had good, uh, good, I, I would say all around a good solid fighter. Is he, uh, ready for any, uh, you know, contention or midway or, 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 or top ten? No. Of course not. Neither is Matt Brown, though. That's the guy he's taking on, Matt Brown. Brown's good, but probably a little un underdeveloped, I would say, at this point, because he's, uh, he's got a really, really aggressive game, which is good, which is great, but it might kind of take away from his defense a little bit. So he might uh, he might be getting KO'd if he doesn't uh, fix some of that, you know. So just my just my point on it. But for the win, I almost want to see Wilkes will take it for some points, but Brown will take it because of his aggressiveness. So you know, I'm, I'm going to maybe kind of lean a little more towards Matt Brown because he's aggressive and you know he's got a pretty deep, pretty pretty good chin too. So he can take he can take a beating and still keep coming at you. So I'm going to lean a little more little more towards Brown, but. I don't know, I might eat my words on that one, I don't know, but I'm going to bump it up to, uh, I think this, this fight's going to be sweet. I really do. It's uh, Mike Swick versus Dan Hardy. And I don't know if anybody knows, but Dan Hardy has been over here in, in the States training with Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach was a boxer trainer, you know, on your boxing and your, you know, your stand-up game. And the guy's good, man. The guy's good. I would, he's not no Greg Jackson or, you know, there's a couple others I can think of, but, uh, Freddie Roach is damn good, you know, as a, a puncher, you know, getting you getting you doing the right punching and, and whatnot. So, but, I mean, he should be fighting, uh, training with uh, Freddie Roach because Mike Swick is known for knockout power and with lightning speed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm betting on Swick, but you know what? With Dan Hardy already being pretty aggressive and a good puncher, I mean, I don't know. I, he kind of made a fool out of uh, Irish Hand Grenade. I, I can't remember his name. Um, I should, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's his last fight. I think it was UFC 102, or like like uh, UFC themselves say, Dan Hardy winning over Mike Swick is a huge win, and I agree that's a huge win because as far as I'm concerned, if Mike Swick can can maintain a good defense with the wicked offense he has, he's going to be in contention for the belt. So, you know, I don't know. I need to maybe study Mike Swick a little bit more, but I think at this point he's he's still a badass fighter. And uh, I'm going to bump this up, too. I, I, I think Swick's going to take it. I think it's just Swick's time to move up a little bit more. But you know what? I, I, could be, I could be totally judging us the wrong way, and you never know, man. It could be Dan Hardy's time. You know, the new, new trainer in his corner and everything. It could, it could be Dan Hardy's time. Who knows? But, you know, it, it's some matches that I will say I'm on the fence about in this card in particular. Um, I'm going to move on to uh, – I picked Swick for that one, but I'm going to move on to uh, Bisbing versus Kang. Michael Bisbing versus Dennis Kang. Dennis Kang, a lot of people don't know, Dennis Kang has like got like 46 fights under his belt. Bisbing has like 17, 18, you know what I mean? I think he's 17 and 1, I, th I think. From a loss, Bisbing's got a lot to prove. And I would say he's almost got a little bit of edge because he realizes what he needs to fix now in order to, to move on. And if he, and if he really, and I, I don't know if you guys have looked up any interviews with Michael Bisbing in the last two months. That guy has been so humbled because of the Dan Henderson knockout. Dan Henderson knocked that dude's block off. He hit the deck, and he landed an extra hammer punch. You know, <laughs> it was awesome, man. It was awesome, period, because I hated that guy. I couldn't stand Michael Bisping's mouth. It was, it was running like, a, like a, a, a chainsaw with a limited gas. I mean, that guy, that guy just ran his mouth. Oh, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to make him fight me fight. I'm going to knock him out. Yep. He ran his mouth to no end. And you know what? Dan Anderson made him eat his words, which was beautiful because he needed that big time. So now that he's got his whatever second loss or whatever it is, or first loss, whatever, as far as I'm concerned, his fight with Matt Hamill, whatever it was, year year and a half ago or whatever, Hamill kicked his ass. But somebody didn't want him. Somebody still wanted him as a poster boy, so they let him slide through. You know, the judges or whatever. But Matt Hamill kicked his ass in that fight. Period. And like a lot of people question the uh, Machida Shogun fight, you know. I, I, like I said, I'm still on the fence. I'm st I still think it's a draw, but you know what? I love Machida. So I have to look at myself and say, you know what? 
you need to fucking, you know, you need to look at this the proper way. I mean, who, who really won here? Who really, you know, and I, have, I really haven't got a chance to sit. I watched the fight three times. And I really haven't got the chance to sit down and really, okay, this guy landed more in this round. But this guy had better defense in this round. Because there's a lot of different ways that they aspect, they, 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 a lot of different aspects as far as judging goes in these fights. If they get a better, a better idea of the way judges are looking at fights, they're going to start understanding why the judges are, are saying what they're saying. Because I think, I mean, I'm just going to run on this real quickly. This is, this, this is not even on a UFC 105 card. This doesn't even involve it. But the way I look at it, and quickly, but the way I look at it is Machida defensively was a much better fighter in that fight. Because when he was at, at the offense, he landed almost everything he wanted to. But Shogun, which, which Shogun landed a lot, don't get me wrong, Shogun landed more than anybody, anybody did against his whole career in the UFC. I think, personally, it was a bad, bad fight for Machida. Great return for Shogun. But that doesn't make it a win. You know what I mean? It, it, just because Machida looked bad. I mean, think about it, man. How many times did Shogun try to take him down? And, and it wasn't even possible. It wasn't even remotely even going to happen. Uh, judges look at that aspect of the fight. You know, Lyoto defended everything he had to defend. When he was offensive, he landed what he had to land and got out. You know, and Shogun missed some here, shot some there, and, and, and landed. Missed some here and missed some more. And it, you know, and it's like, well, yeah, maybe Shogun landed some more, but Shogun also failed a lot more, too. So, you know, that being said, it's like, you know what? Don't take my word for it, man. Look at the fight again and, and, and kind of run over your own little personal scorecard and see what you think. You know, I still think the fight was a draw. But you know what? I've said it back and forth. I think I think uh, Lyoto won at one point, and at one point I can almost make an argument for Shogun. So, like I said, man, I'm still on the fence about that fight. But I'm going to cut that off right there because it's UFC 105, not 104. So, Bisping versus Kang. Dennis Kang ain't no joke, period. Dennis Kang will knock your friggin' block off at a moment's notice. And I'm talking to Michael Bisping right now. Bisping better have his shit ready because this dude will knock, him, knock his can out.